Let's begin by looking at the cover of a youth application. These words reflect the core values of the BSA to help young people become better citizens. Youth make a commitment to do their duty to God, their country, other people, and themselves. Let's look now at the actual youth application that will be completed by an individual applying for registration with the BSA. Can you identify some of the key parts? See the youth membership section? The youth needs to identify the unit number and the unit type. Cub Scout Pack, Boy Scout Troop, Varsity Scout Team, Venturing Crew, or Sea Scout Ship. See where the individual indicates his or her name and contact info? Communications from the council and district can be delivered with accurate contact information. How about the date of birth? The grade. Having the date of birth and the grade helps the individual know which program they are eligible to join. See where the individual signs up for a Boyce Life subscription? Youth can get Boyce Life magazine delivered to their home 12 times a year. Have you located all the signatures required? It's as easy as one, two, three. A parent or guardian must approve the application if the youth is under 18 years of age. Venturers should approve their own application. And a unit leader or designee must also approve the youth application. So here is a sample youth application completed. Notice how the boxes and radio buttons are clearly filled out. Notice also how the unit type name and contact info, date of birth, grade, and signatures are all complete. So let's look again at that sample youth application. Is there any info that's missing? Look closely. Oops, the applicant forgot to indicate the unit number. Did you see that? Just so you know, if the applicant was transferring their BSA membership from one unit to another, they would need to complete this transfer info with the council number they're transferring from and the unit type and number. Do you see that? Oops, the applicant forgot to check the Boys Life radio button. This magazine is highly encouraged for all youth, especially youth involved in Cub Scouting and Boy Scouting. Do you see that? Wow, the applicant forgot to indicate the date the application was actually completed. Did you see that? Information for parents is important to share with the new youth member and the family. A parent or guardian must certify that he or she has read this information for all youth applicants under 18 years of age. Venturer and Sea Scout members should share this information with their parents. Parents should be aware of the program policies, especially leaders must subscribe to the Declaration of Religious Principle, the Scout Oath, the Scout Law, and the BSA Standards of Leadership. Partisan political activities are prohibited. Military training and drills are prohibited. BSA leaves sectarian religious instruction to the members' religious leaders and family. And members who do not belong to the unit chartered organization shall not be required to participate in its religious activities. Youth protection policies must be followed. It's vital that the parent review how to Protect Your Children from Child Abuse, a Parent's Guide. Key youth protection policies include two adults are required on all trips and outings, one-on-one -on -one activities between youth and adults are never permitted, corporal punishment, hazing, and bullying are not permitted, there are no secret organizations in scouting, and if a parent suspects that a child has been abused, they should immediately contact the local authorities and the scout executive. The parent participates with their scout and helps the unit volunteer leaders provide the best quality program experience. More information for parents is available to include the joining requirements, registration and voice life fees, and a temporary membership certificate. Make sure you know the age and grade joining requirements for each BSA program. In Cub Scouting, a Tiger Cub is often a first grader or age seven, a Cub Scout is a second or third grader or age eight or nine, and a Weeblo Scout is often a fourth or fifth grader or age ten. A Boy Scout must have completed fifth grade 
and be at least 10 years old, or is 11 years or older, or has earned the air of light in Cub Scouting and is at least 10 years old and not yet 18. A varsity scout must be at least 14 years of age and not yet 18. A venture or sea scout must be at least 13 years of age and have completed the 8th grade or are 14 years of age and not yet 21. Only venturing and sea scouting are co-ed programs. So the youth application is more than just another application. It's a vital source of information to help the youth member get involved and active within a scouting unit. It is the gateway to prepare young people for leadership, education, service, adventure, for life.